so it, it's hard for me to like it's like damn like neither of them play like it literally it's just mid lane is just a 1v1 in na which is so weird when you watch other regions mid lane's like a fucking 3v3 at minute four like go watch lpl to support like the leona is just like trading flashes with the enemy mid laner they're just bringing the whole <laughs> fucking team it's like a four-man gank mid at like four minutes like what the fuck this guy can't even lane how is it just a 1v1 in na like it just it, it's like a different fucking world yeah it's sad it really it, it, it's 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 something it's something weird man i i i don't know i don't know what to think about it and also the mid lane meta was the most changing right of all the roles throughout uh na this split i think it was the it was the one that went all over the place uh from pretty much start to finish like jungle even though it like changed up we're still not seeing it change up to the extent that it could uh i mean bot lane was forcefully changed between splits uh like this year because of Aphilios and ezreal and whatnot uh you know and Senna even getting hit, Misfortune, yada yada yada, Varus. Um, yeah, mid, mid lane's really weird, just watching it in isolation. Well, I mean, I, I think that a lot of these like mid lane picks shouldn't even be viable. Like, the Zillion pick, like, Bjergsen plays an insane Zillion. I don't give a fuck how good you are at Zillion. This champion should not be able to lane. Like, this champion actually cannot lane in these matchups that we're seeing him lane into. You're picking Zillion into Lucia. I mean, if, if Niski didn't misplay, yeah. that's solo kill level four. Like, that, that that's just not a lane where you can play it. And TSM just gets away with it because the quality of like the mid laners are going against isn't high enough. But if they end up going into worlds with the same style, dude, you're not getting like I watched Chovy's Lucian in in uh, DRX versus Genji game four. You're not getting through okay. that lane phase <laughs> as Zillion into Chovy's Lucian. Like it's just not it's happening. Chovy, what the fuck? Well, I mean, I'm like, yeah, this is the mother. This motherfucker's going to worlds. Like this is who you're playing. <laughs> like, he's what do you want planes, me to say? And I, he's not playing Chovy. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, look, planes. dude, you're gonna play fucking night. Like, you're gonna play That's these. Fair. Like, these motherfuckers exist. Like, this is the tournament you are going to. Like, these are the people that are qualified. My my whole like thing about TSM, I guess, to bring it back to the topic is, like, you're saying like, what happens if the TSM bot lane gets a solo kill? I mean, what happened to TSM's bot lane? Like, isn't Biofrost and Double supposed to be one of the best laning bot lanes in the league? That's Not supposed recently. to be a thing, right? <laughs> Not recently. Well, I mean, Double is supposed to be one of the best AD carries in the league. This is true. A lot of a lot of the champions that are being played right now are extremely lane dominant. Jin, Ash, Caitlyn, Caitlyn, like all yeah. these things are super lane dominant, but they're not ever picking for lane. They're just like accepting losing lane every game. They're like, oh yeah, we'll just take Rakan. Like, wh why is it that the best teams in NA think that pick, like counter pick support doesn't matter at all? Well, so I, I was talking about this with Max recently, right? Um, uh, the old Max the... Waldo, North America's no. savior, hand picked and trained <laughs> by LS. I get oh, teased no, no, for okay. bringing up the, the greatest world's player of all time. I'm going to tease you for uh, NA's next okay. great savior. Because <laughs> right, right. I've, so, I've already sent mine. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about it with him um, because he is talking with more players than I talk to, right? Sure. And I think that the, the, the conclusion that is reached is that because these champions don't get punished, they think it's fine. They actually learn incorrect things. Got you. They don't know what it's like to actually be punished or properly play the lane and then punish these champions. Because they, they get into these weird ideas of these weird mindsets. Um, and so then you end up, you reach false conclusions. And you don't realize that it's actually not acceptable unless someone shows you that it's not acceptable. But when everyone just ends up handshaking it, then you don't realize it's not acceptable. And so you, you get these really weird things. And like, there there's... A lot of uh, disparity sometimes, like when you listen to mic checks between regions, right? Where some players will actually say that like a certain pick's fine, and then their duo partner in bot lane will say that it's not fine. And then it's like, what do you? How do you even? I I, I don't even know how the fuck that even occurs. Number one, um, because you're both playing the same lane. But then how do you have such wildly different ideas on how something is going, right? Because it should just be able to be demonstrated. But like picks like Rakan and Tom and Bard and and or not Bard, uh, Brom and and whatnot, these should be able to be demonstrated that they're not blind pickable, that you can't just actually pick them. Um, and yet we're we're just we're having hand shook lanes or we're just having lanes that just go relatively even, um, and it just doesn't make any fucking sense, man. It makes absolutely no sense. I What's think in, your opinion on on a couple of these matches? Because like NA has this weird like I've been seeing like even like pros and people tweet on uh, tweet to me. That Rakan is actually fine into Leona because of unflinching now. Where I just am like, nah, this shit, this pick is like not okay. Like a Leona will actually just murder you in the fucking lane. Like there's so many, and then like people think that like it's so weird. And he thinks like Bard is fine into Nautilus. Like 
you look at other regions, if you pick Bard, like they just pick Nautilus, hook you once, and then you're just dry humping your turret for the rest of the game. Like you can't get out. You're in fucking prison after that. So like, I don't know. What what are your opinion on opinions on some of these lanes? Like Bard blind um, versus like Nautilus, things like Rakan into Leona. Because these I are think, like the picks that we're going for. I, I feel like the meta right now, um, support support counter pick is one of the strongest things and we don't see it utilized to the extent that it could be right like if you look at all of the mid lane champions there's so many that can just go in blind and there's not very much that you can do to them um or they have ways that they can get out of the laning phase right so red team in theory should be able to get a lot more power down in bottom lane because of the dynamic of 80 carries right now if they counter pick support but when your idea of a counter pick support is fucking picking tom kench or rakan then rakan. yeah you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> like I, I i mean i i don't know what the fucking what shit just goes wrong in your practice or like how incompetent you must be as a player to not realize that there's better picks um but then sometimes it's like i i actually feel fucking cursed by the way like some of the the champions that i've like fucking asked like begged zyra. For th <laughs> that was the worst zyra spot in the world man <laughs> what the fuck are they doing and then uh, they built three trees <laughs> man I'm getting uh, fucking sabotaged or something. Like, 052, 052, 052 Core Good Day. You actually weren't online, and I, if you go back to my live, I'm like, I hope to God Ellis doesn't wake up for this game. I hope to I God. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to God. I'm like, I hope this guy sleeps through this shit because this is some ugly shit that we're seeing I woke right up here. during that. Dude, the, oh, the fucking man. universe was trying to let me know. Like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I would have went if I was you. I would have went back to sleep if I woke up and found that <laughs> like, shit. I would have woke up, seen like the level nine Zyra at like thirty five minutes with just Leonardo's <laughs> components, and be like, Nah, nah, nah. Today is not for me. <laughs> we'll just go next day. <laughs> <laughs>